Wake up, babe, new dinosaur just dropped. This is Lochiceratops rangiformis. If you're looking at this animal and thinking that looks a lot like Triceratops, you are onto something. It was a Ceratopsid, which is the same dinosaur family as Triceratops. But it was from a different subfamily within the Ceratopsids. Unlike Triceratops, which was a Chasmosaurine, Lochiceratops was a Centrosaurine, which means it was related to Cyracosaurus, and it was especially closely related to two animals called Medusaceratops and Albertoceratops, which is weird because Albertoceratops, Medusaceratops, and Lochiceratops all lived in the same place at the same time, and so did a less closely related Centrosaurine called Wendyceratops, as well as a Chasmosaurine called Judyceratops. Somehow this ecosystem was supporting a surprising diversity of fairly similar large herbivores, three of which were very closely related to each other, which is very different from the way that large mammal herbivores tend to associate in modern ecosystems. Why did this happen, it's kind of a mystery, but the paper authors think maybe this had to do with sexual selection, so the ancestral population of all three of these genera had some individuals that found some arrangements of crest horns attractive and other arrangements unattractive, so these parts of the ancestral population just stopped interbreeding by choice and eventually became separate species and then separate genera. This and all my other content was brought to you thanks partly to my Patreon supporters, in particular besties Anton, Coleman, David, Juan, Martin, and Michael, as well as the friends named on the screen here. Thank you.